Hi everyone, welcome to Morning Mobility. My name is Jessica Norman. I'm with VCU Rec Sports as their Assistant Director for Fitness and Wellness, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Meet me on your mat. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do this morning is just settle into child's pose and take a few deep breaths. So from here, you can either um, your knees close together or you can widen them, whichever is most comfortable for you. So we're sitting on our knees, our shins, and the tops of our feet. So from here, reach down, walk your hands forward, and just surrender your forehead to your mat or to your space. And if it doesn't quite reach, you can put a pillow there. Just take a few moments, deep breaths here. One more deep inhale and full exhale. Walk your hands to the right side for a lateral side body stretch. Press your left hip on your left heel. Really find length for your left side body. Did a lot of yard work yesterday, so I'm feeling this one for sure. I knew I would. And come back to center. Carefully walk over to the right hand side. Press your right hip into your right heel to open up for your right side body. So hands are on the left side, right hip is pressing down. And then come back to center. Take a few more deep breaths here. One more deep inhale and deep exhale. Carefully walk yourself up to a seat. We're gonna come to laying down in your space. This next exercise that we're gonna do is called floor slides. So it might be a little tricky for you to see my body positioning when I'm fully laying down. So just so you know, I'm gonna be taking my arms to both closed arms. So I've got 90 degree angles in my elbows and shoulders. And the movement that we're gonna be doing on the floor, taking an inhale here, and then exhale, pressing our arms up overhead while keeping our low back engaged with the mat. And then returning back down to 90-90 um, for our inhale, okay? So we'll call those floor slides. So come to laying down on your mat. Find your elbows at shoulder height. Feet are firmly planted into the mat or to the floor. And then draw your belly button towards your spine to engage a pelvic tilt here. You want to keep your low back pressed to the mat the entire time. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, press your arms overhead. Inhale, return. Exhale, rise. Inhale, return. Exhale, press overhead. Inhale, return. Exhale, press. Two more times here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Great job. Bring your hands down by your side. So that just woke up our shoulders and spine a little bit. Now we're going to move into a lower body um, stretching exercise for our leg extension. So I'm going to lift my right leg up. I can give my thigh a little tug. Pull the ankle both directions. And then release. Other side, leg comes up, pull the ankle, and then return. So we're going to do this six times on each leg. We're on our second side, second time. And just keep breathing here. Right leg for the third time. You can go at your own pace. Waking the back of the legs up.
You may notice as we do a few reps of this that your leg can actually get closer to your face. That last time, right and left. And release. All right, so if you've grabbed those um, pillows or blocks, we're gonna go ahead and grab them here. So for this um, exercise, we're actually going to lay down on our side. So you can see that I'm using a block to prop my head up. I'm also gonna use another block to place in between my knees. Now in this um, mobility exercise, you wanna make sure that your hips stay stacked the entire time. And we're gonna open up through the shoulder. So I've got both hands out in front of me here. And my top arm, which is my left arm, is gonna reach up overhead open up through the shoulders, but keep the hips stacked, and then close. So if you think of this like a book, opening it here, and then closing. Good, four more times. Last three. So that block or pillow in between your knees is just encouraging you to keep your hips stacked. One more time this side. Good, and release. So you all can just flip over, but because I don't wanna turn my back to you, I'm gonna get situated on this side or the other side where we have our sideline reach six times. Okay, so arms stacked, shoulders stacked, hips stacked. From here, reaching the arm up overhead opening up through the shoulders and the thoracic spine. You may experience a chest and shoulder stretch here, especially as we come to the back. Good, one more time. and close the book, great job. Okay, next exercise, we're moving into a low plank with a twist. So low plank, you've got a couple different options. We're definitely gonna be taking it on our elbows, but you also have the option to come from your toes down to your knees. So whatever is most comfortable and accessible to you this morning. From here, hold your plank. And then I've got my arms stacked in like an equal sign parallel. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to open my plank up to the side. Notice I'm on my knees and shifting them and then return. If you are on your toes, come to the knife edge of your feet and return. Good. Wherever you are, we've got five more, right and left. So starting to fire up the core here. We'll come back to the core in a little bit. Last two each side. Last time right and left. and return to your plank and release. Great time to press back into child's pose. Just take a moment, find your breath, catch your breath if you need to. And while you're resting in child's pose, maybe just notice right here, right now, if this child's pose feels different than the first one you did. Maybe it's a little bit more accessible. Maybe you're noticing a little bit more movement in your hips, maybe your forehead's closer to the mat, whatever the case may be. Okay, so from your child's pose, we'll press up into all fours as we find some cat cows. So inhale, drop your belly, lift your heart and head. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest. You can do that again, inhale. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Three more, inhale, and exhale. And after
after your last cat cow, return to neutral. From here, this is going to be um, a little bit of a um, one of these, you know, pat your head, rub your belly kind of things. <laughs> so from here, extend your left arm out, shoulder height, and extend your right leg back for a balance here. Press evenly through both hand and knee that remain on the mat. And then from here, reach the left fingertips long, right toes long back. Find a crunch underneath you, belly button, and return. Good. Inhale to crunch. Exhale, extend. Two more on this side. Last one. Return to all fours. Lift your right arm up and then exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, rise. Exhale, thread the needle. One more time. And inhale, return to tabletop. Okay, from here, right leg, rather, right arm shoots out, left leg shoots back. Draw the belly button towards the spine, find strength in your balance and posture. Inhale to prepare, exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach, exhale, crunch. Go with your own breath. Three more. Last two. Final time. Reach out and then return to all fours. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. So we're threading the needle here to stretch out through the shoulder of that supporting arm. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, reach. And exhale, lower. Return to all fours. And then press back into child's pose. Surrender here. One more full round of breath. and then carefully walk yourself up. Okay, so for the next couple exercises, we're gonna be laying on the ground. Let's go ahead and make that transition here. This next exercise is called windshield wiper. So arms are gonna be out to a T beside you. If you have an option, you can either take this uh, mobility exercise with bent knees or straight legs. We know based off of physics that the longer the lever length, the more difficult it becomes. So we'll start with our knees bent, and then if you want to up-level from there, you can. So from here, inhale to prepare. Exhale, draw your knees to the right side. And then inhale, return to center. Exhale, release to the left. I'm getting a lot of movement in my low back. Stay with your own breath. You may notice a little Pops or cracks so as you move through your range of motion. And as we do this right to left, think about pressing your shoulders into the mat, regardless of which way your knees are moving. So we're about halfway there. So if you'd like, you can try up loving by extending the legs. Last two, right to left. So I'm tricking you into some core work today. <laughs> One more time, right left. And 
And as you come back to center, bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a little hug, rock side to side. Iron out and massage your low back. From here, bring both feet to the floor. Hands come down by your sides as we prepare for glute bridge. So from here, inhale, lift your hips up and hold. Exhale, release your hips down. Inhale, press. Exhale, release. Think about squeezing your glutes, engaging through your hamstrings as you press up to lengthen the hip flexors, and then release down. Press through the heels, lift high, and release. Good, three more times. Last two. One more time, press up and hold. You're here for five, four, last three, two, and one. Drop your hips down, give yourself a hug, rock side to side. Stay there for a couple moments, let me check my notes. Okay, great. <clears throat> so from here, we're going to come up to a seated position and find 90 degrees in our front leg and our back leg. If you're experiencing any discomfort or pain in your trailing knee, I have an option for you um, as we work to stretch through the glute. So for those of us that are comfortable or not experiencing pain in this position, we'll do a 90-90. For those of you that are having um, discomfort in that back leg, we're going to move to a supine seated four. So I'll change my view on that. For your supine figure four, take your right leg, cross it over your left ankle, and then you're just gonna pull your left thigh in towards your chest. So you've got this figure four in your right leg, all right? And so you'll stay with us in that position as those of us that are 90-90 navigate through this. So front leg 90 degrees, back leg 90 degrees as well, sitting up nice and tall. All we're gonna do here is take our chest, lean it forward, You'll find a stretch in the right hip as we lean forward and then return. Good, lean down and return. Each time you lean down, you might notice that you're getting a little bit closer to the floor. And return two more times on this side. Last one. And release. Go ahead and switch other side. If you're doing the supine figure four, this is your cue to switch as well. Secure your 90 degree angle. Support yourself by squaring the front leg. Inhale to prepare. And then exhale, hinge forward. Now right away, I notice a difference in my right to left side. So that's totally okay. Two more, this side. Last time. And sit up nice and tall. Very good. So we will all meet in child's pose wherever you are, just navigate to that position. And we'll take a few deep breaths here. Again, notice how different your child's pose feels now in comparison to the one we did at the first part of class. From here, move into tabletop, stack shoulders over elbows and wrists, hips over knees. Engage your low belly, take an inhale. Exhale, press into downward facing dog. Nice short dog, down dog stance, big generous bend in your knees. We're not here very long. Take your head yes, take your head no, and then come to stillness. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, step your foot through, come into a low lunge. Right knee is stacked over right ankle. 
Option to drop the left knee, whatever is most comfortable for you. And then from here, right arm reaches up towards the sky. And return. Come up on that back foot if you've dropped the knee down. And then downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg aside. Exhale, move into the low lunge. Option to drop the knee. Left arm reaches high. And return. Lift the back leg. Press back, downward facing dog. So that's our movement pattern here. Move into a low lunge. Knee up or knee down with a reach and a twist. You can find this at your own pace with your own breath. If you start with your knee down, maybe as you progress the exercise, you come into the back knee being lifted. Wherever you are, we've got three more each side. Finding a little bit more movement in our hips, our low back, shoulders, chest. One more, right, left. And from downward facing dog, we'll just knee and child's pose for a few moments. One more full inhale and a full exhale. Tuck your toes, press at your hands, shift into downward facing dog. And then walk your hands back to meet your feet. Forward fold. In your forward fold, you have the option to grab opposite elbows to wrists. You shake your head yes, you can no. Find a deep bend in your knees, really open up through the hamstrings. Release your hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lock yourself up to a plank. Hold here for five, four, last three, two, and one. Knees come to your mat. Carefully lower yourself down. Inhale, cobra pose. Shine your chest forward. Just breathe here. So little to no weight in the hands. Press the tops of your feet down on your mat so your knees lift. Take an inhale. Exhale, press back in child's pose. Breathe here. One more full round of breath. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Last sun salutation here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk yourself out to a plank. You're here for five, four. Option to come to your knees. Last three, two, and one. Release your knees to your mat. Carefully lower yourself down. Inhale, cobra pose. Lift up. Exhale, child's pose. In 
Inhale here, tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet to meet your hands. Bend your knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Okay, last exercise before we're done for the day. We're gonna find a standing lunge with an overhead reach. So I'm gonna to step to the top of my mat, take a nice big long step back so that my right leg is trailing behind me. And then I'm gonna drop down into a lunge and to get into position, you can even come all the way down to your right knee. I've got a 90 degree angle in my left leg, 90 degree angle in my right leg. Tuck the back toes, stand up and in perfect lunge position. My feet are on railroad tracks, not a tightrope. So I've got some space between my feet. From here, arms reach up overhead. Really think about tucking your back hip under to find length in that right hip flexor. And we've got six lunges, and then that's it on the right side. So we're down and lift. Think about knitting the ribs together. Good, here's three. Two more with your right leg trailing. Last one, good, and then step together and release the arms. We'll get situated on the other leg, so take a nice long step back, you can drop to the knee, find 90 degrees in the front, 90 degrees in the back, tuck your back toe, lift up nice and strong, arms come up overhead, tuck the hip under to find length in the left hip flexor, knit the ribs together, find lunge, and stand tall. Good, last three. Final two. And one more time. Reach up, reach up. From here, forward fold. Just let your body hang. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Bring your hands to your opposite elbows. You can even sway side to side. Find stillness, release your hands to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Big, generous bend your knees. Roll your shoulders up to stand. Find the two shoulder rolls here. And you're all set. Thank you so much for coming to Morning Mobility with me. I'm gonna stop our recording right now, and then if you have any questions, you can go ahead.